you. I missed you. Let's make a video. All right, so here we are with my duty belt. If you guys are an OG, you guys have seen this belt. The very first video I ever made on this channel was my duty belt. So it's getting uh, worn out. If you guys can see that, it's all worn down. But I have a, a blank belt here, which is a new one. We're gonna transfer some things over and switch some things up. So I figured that you guys would probably be interested in this video. One of the main reasons I wanna do this is for one, some of the parts are worn out and even this part, I don't have a replacement for it, but some of them I do. Two, I want to just just remove some things that I don't use anymore, such as my baton holder and my pepper spray I'm probably going to take off as well. So the OC spray and the baton holder, everything else will probably stay. But as far as those two things, I don't use them anymore. So I figured why not just take them off? I shouldn't even say you don't use them anymore. I've, I've never used them. The baton I've never used in a way that, uh, in striking way on force. I've used it to break windows. I've used it to scare possums. I use it to get back attacking dogs. I don't use it for anything else. It, it, it hasn't been on my belt in a long time. I don't really need it. My suggestion to you, if you were getting into a duty belt, is try to reduce the weight as much as possible. Obviously, you don't want to limit your tools, but I think the most important tool that you have is your mouth, for number one, right? Second, you should be really focused on your physical abilities, physical control. You should be training DT, you should be training jujitsu, those kinds of things. Be confident in those things. Then you want to start looking into using something on your belt. Taser, obviously, you should always keep on your belt and is a great tool when it's used properly. As far as OC spray goes, every time it's used, an officer gets contact with it and it's never that fun. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't like using that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, start pulling pieces off of this one and then start moving them over to that one. There are certain things on your duty belt that you wanna always keep the same, such as keeping your firearm always where it needs to be. Of course, it would be on your right side if you're right-handed and the left hip if it's your left-handed. And your taser will be complete opposite. That way there's no mistaking the two. You wanna kinda of stay familiar with a couple other things, such as your magazines. You wanna keep those in the same location as you train because you're going to go back to memory when shit hits the fan. So you wanna be always reaching for the same area if you switch them up. You can, but make sure that you are training with that. So once you switch them, make sure you do repetitive, repetitive drills on drawing and reloading and stuff like that. So that way you get familiar with your new setup. Now, some people go to a outer carrier, which I was trying to get my buddy to uh, do that video today. However, that's gonna be on hold, but it's coming soon. So we're gonna do a video on our outer carriers and how those are set up, why we have them set up that way. So those kind of things, you kind of wanna keep the same, or like I said, you wanna train that muscle memory. But all right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and just take things off of here. So to do this, you well, with the taser, it usually just pops off like this, super easy to do. Now this will have to come off a little bit more difficulty. This will slide off. Flashlight comes right out. Let's get that out of the way. Extra pair of handcuffs. We'll take them out. Why are we taking everything out? It'll make it easier for us to bend and move these objects, uh, these holsters, uh, to get them off the belt easier. Tourniquet here. Uh, this is one that I got off of Amazon and it's actually worked great as far as the tourniquet holder. Um, you can also get the North American Rescue cat tourniquets off Amazon as well. Uh, just make sure that you are in fact getting them from North American Rescue and not a knockoff. I think I just need to do this. There we go. Kind of a simple little uh, slides in there, locks, and then you pry it up with a screwdriver. This right here is going to be the um, baton holder that we're just gonna go ahead and just get rid of. Uh, that's gonna have to slide off. This right here does pop off. This is an ASP handcuff holder. I did purchase this myself. I will link that below as well. And since we're gonna be messing around with this, we're gonna go ahead and just leave the firearm in the holster. We don't need to take it out. We don't need to manipulate it. You can if you want to, make sure it's safe. But if it's in the holster, then it's safe. OC spray. You don't wanna accidentally hit the little button on the inside. And that's not gonna be fun. So we're gonna go ahead and just set this over here gently. And then we can take the bags out. This right here is a fun little hack to keep your handcuff key on. So if you're interacting with somebody and you go to handcuff them and for some reason they don't want to keep fighting or whatever, you just let go and you don't lose your handcuff key. Really cool thing to have, again, link down below. Okay, and as you see, I got some couple zip ties on here right now. So we're gonna have to cut those off. Start right there. there we go. All right. So now that we got those off, we can open this up, take our belt clip, off and slide that off. Obviously it's gonna probably be easier to take these things off than to put them back on. I'm just gonna keep sliding everything off. 
This is the flashlight holder and I'd like to get a new one because this one is so worn out that the flashlight does not sit in there very well because the previous flashlight I had was a little thicker. I might cut the bottom. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? It's not gonna fall all the way through, right? Yeah, let's do that right now. Yeah. We'll leave it like that maybe. That'll help snug it up. Oh yeah, there you go, look. Aha, see? That's all you gotta do is just, you just cut it a little bit. That's nice and snug in there now. So light. Maybe we just needed handcuffs. That'd be great. Actually, we're not even going to reuse that one, so see ya. All right, here's our new one. And something that you want to do before you start putting everything on is basically kind of get it to size. There's a kind of a trick to it. Put it on and get it to where it's, it's pretty snug, but not too snug, right? So I usually like to put, you know, a finger, two fingers probably in there because once you start putting all these things on, it's going to start tightening, tightening up. And you will be able to adjust it a little bit, but you don't want to have it so far out that you're having to adjust it a whole lot. The reason being is that once you start putting some items here in this area, well, once you start to stretch that flap over even further and further, then you run into issues with having to move things back around and cutting things and so forth. So try to get it as close as possible. I like the two finger rule. So once you put everything on, it should be pretty snug. And you're also putting an underbelt underneath this belt as well. So that's gonna take up a little bit of space. Slide these little keepers or whatever you wanna call them and pop this open and now we're ready to start setting everything up. Obviously my right side is gonna have the firearm on it, but before my firearm in front, what do I wanna have? I used to have the OC spray there, which is pepper spray, which I just said that I'm going to be removing that. So I'm gonna take that off. So I have less weight on my belt. Yes, it's not much weight, but it's some weight. Uh, any reduction is a reduction. So the only thing that I really need up front would be the handcuffs. However, I'm thinking that I'm going to start rocking the tourniquet in the front. On our left side, we obviously want to have our taser, uh, but before my taser, I like to have my magazines. That's where I draw them from, that's where I'm used to it, and that's where I want to keep them. So we need to go down the line backwards to forward. So behind the taser is going to be my radio. So let's go ahead and just slide that one on. So we have the radio here. Also on this right side, I want to have a new handcuff case. So this is a spare handcuffs. How is that little tiny thing there you see that how is that gonna fit on the belt it's not too bad I just want to do like a rocket back and forth motion as you're pulling yeah it's not too bad here we go what else do we have oh flashlight would also go on the radio side I usually keep that behind the radio right hey do you guys remember how I had it set up before I remember yeah, good thing this is easy to slide on and off. We want this on there first. So this is already worn down, so let's just slide on there nice and easy. And the taser is another one that just clips on that we won't have to really put on right this second. We can kind of adjust everything else and then leave a space for the taser. So that taser magazines, right? So we'll slide the magazine holster on and that's really gonna go like right up front and center. Let's go back over to the right side here. Behind the firearm, we used to have the baton. We no longer have the baton, so I had the tourniquet there as well. And the reason I'm moving the tourniquet to the front is you want it kind of easily accessible, obviously, because you want to be able to self-apply it. So make sure it's in an area that you can reach it with your right arm or your left arm. Uh, fellow officers can access it as well. So having it to the back, I could reach it. Here I could reach it and I could twist and reach it with my left arm. I made sure I could do that. However, say I was laying on the ground, it might be a little bit more difficult depending on the position I was in. I think just moving it to the front would be a little bit easier. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And also in the front will be the handcuffs. There's a good reason to have it in the front and that is to have it quick access to it and it's right here in front and center. Having your handcuffs on the back obviously makes you put your arm to the back and if something were to go south and they pinned you and grabbed you and your arm is stuck behind your back because you're trying to get your cuffs or like that, it's just nicer to have everything as much as front and center as you can to grab those cuffs and be able to apply them. I'm trying to make a video here. I don't need you meowing all over the place, okay? People don't want your meows. So let's just do the firearm. Try to get it through a little bit and then bring it over and bring that side through. <sighs> kind of need to push one side through and like inch it over. All right, we'll try there for now. We're probably gonna have to adjust that a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is put our clips back on. First you wanna slide your sleeve on so that's on there. Then you wanna slide your clip on, make sure it's the right way. Bend that over. 
and then slide this little sleeve over. Now you may not need zip ties, but zip ties will squeeze this a little bit tighter, giving you a little bit more space and keeping that nice and snug so it doesn't move around. Move this back, slide this on, slide this on, and then slide this kind of behind there and as far as up as you can. So hopefully you guys can kind of tell what I'm doing here. All right, now we have our clips on. We can kind of see where we're at. Uh, I want to really get the uh, firearm in the right spot. I'm going to clip this on where it would be at. And you can see it's way too far forward. So we need to come back a little bit more. Oh, I feel like it like locked in right there. Did you guys hear that? Put it on. And that's about right. I feel like the belt might need to get a little bit tighter. But I'm thinking if I have the underbelt on. You really want your belt to be pretty dang snug. So I'm thinking tourniquet there and then handcuff case right there so yeah we should be able to make that work and i want to do is slide this piece over and then behind that velcro there and then lock that in place and then we wanted to try our tourniquet here so i'm going to put that as close as i can to the handcuffs in a sense you need to make sure you have room to manipulate your your holster but yeah i feel like something's missing oh that's because we, we took some things off oh wait this is what's missing so i want this in between my radio and my magazine Boom, click that there. Put it on again. Let's see where we're at. Oh, that feels pretty good right there. Access to our firearm right where we want it. Handcuffs there. We have tourniquet here. Our magazines here. So we'll go ahead and put those in. My tasers right here. And then we'll have the radio here. I don't have it with me right now, but here's the holster, actual holster for it right there. And then the flashlight, which we cut the bottom of. So it's snug now. And then we have this, so we'll put this back on. What I do is I take right in here where that like keeper is. I slide this piece basically over that. You don't want to slide it this way because I always fear that you would like push it out and it would fall off. I feel like you got a better chance of it not coming off if you do it this way. So basically get underneath there and just slide it on just like that. And there you go, you got your handcuff key right there and you're never going to lose it. Tuck it out of the way and there you go. All right, and there you have it. That is my new setup that I'm gonna rock for now. I'll probably keep it like this for a while unless I don't like the way it's set up, but it's pretty close to what I already had. A lot more real estate in the back is what I wanted. It already feels better. It definitely feels a little bit lighter. Maybe I'm just, it's just in my head, but it's gotta be a little bit lighter, right? Because we took this off and this is actually kind of a, a hefty piece. And we took this off, uh, obviously the spray cans on it, but it's a little bit of weight there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button for me. And I will see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Yeah, appreciate it guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.